Hey, what's up? This is Tiger, and I'm going to show you how to um, actually install, uh, well, not install, but set up your um, email opt-in form on your Genesis theme. Okay, you'll notice that when you go to uh, the Studio Press um, website, or really if you purchase a Genesis uh, child theme, Genesis framework, uh, child theme from any third-party developer, um, you can actually install this specific custom-made um, Genesis plugin so that you can um, get the default uh, custom-made email opt-in form that goes with your theme, um, which kind of looks, looks like this. A lot of them look like this, but you can actually get one that looks like this on your Genesis theme. Let's go to the main site, okay? So if you know, especially with all the Studio Press, developed um, WordPress themes, they all have their own custom, um, you know, opt-in forms, okay? The developer has made it that way, okay? Now, I'm not going to open up every single one of these and show you what they look like, but when you look at the demos, when you go into these themes and check out the demos, you can see they all have their custom email opt-in forms. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't come come set up right away. you got to do that yourself, and you have to have an email autoresponder to do it. Okay, an email autoresponder service like Aweber or GetResponse or MailChimp or something like that. Okay, and when I first tried setting this up, or when I got my um, my theme set up, I'm like, what the heck? You know, where where's my opt-in form? And I didn't understand the connection of having a email autoresponder service. Well, there is, um, I think there's some instruction on your theme, um, you know, uh, manual that will come. Um, with the theme in the uh, login area, you know, the members area, like in here. But I actually had to search for this on YouTube. So I want to create my own video and show you how to set this up, okay? So once again, you're going to get a, a opt-in form, a sweet-looking opt-in form that looks like that, or maybe uh, something like this, almost the same thing. This is the standard uh, opt-in form that comes with the Genesis framework, which is not a theme. This, this is more of the bones, like the the framework where all the themes are built off of, but you wouldn't actually probably use this as your main theme, okay? But any, any of those, like I said, all of these, every single one of these have have its own custom email opt-in form for your sidebar on your WordPress blog. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to your dashboard, okay? You're going to go to plugins. You're going to go to add new, and then you're going to search for the plugin, and it, it is Genesis. There it is. I'll research for it. Genesis E News Extended. You don't have to worry about caps or anything. Okay, so search for it. Now you can do searches for plugins on Google too, but the easiest way to do it is from here. You know exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so then uh, I already have it installed. So then all you're going to do is just install this here. Okay. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, the cool thing about Genesis Framework is that there's a lot of um, third-party plugins that you can download for free, actually. Some of them um, you have to pay for. Most of them are free, though, so that's pretty cool. I, I definitely want to experiment with this one or try some of these, but anyways, okay. Um, so, wow, yeah, I definitely want to fiddle around with those, see if those are free. Um, I think this one, the Palette Pro, I think I've seen that before. That's where you can really customize your Genesis theme. Okay, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, once it's activated, okay, once you install it and activate it, um, you're going to slide the eNews Extended uh, right here uh, widget under your sidebar here, and I'm going to show you how to set it up, okay? So let's start with the very top. Oops, actually, I had it. Okay, there we go. So you're going to put a title, okay? And um, then you're going to put some text uh, here some like description, you know, subscribe now to receive weekly blog post updates. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Okay. And actually, by the way, this is what it looks like on my blog. Okay. This is the custom one um, made for my blog, um, my theme. Okay. So this one's a little bit simpler, but it re looks really good behind, you know, in front of that white background, but I can't do it. I can't customize this other than the text. Okay. But this is what um, yours would look like if you purchased the altitude theme okay this one that's what i have okay so 
um, yeah, back to this, back to the widget area. Okay. So there's some information that you need from your email autoresponder service. And I'm going to show you how to get that information. And now uh, I will assume that you're going to just have to try to find this information um, on whatever email autoresponder service you're using. I know how to get it with Aweber, but um, it's probably the same with MailChimp, probably the same with GetResponse, and any other service that is compatible because you don't really have any other options here, okay? There's two main things that you need here. You need the form action uh, link here, and you need these hidden fields, okay? It's just data that needs to connect with your a with your uh, email autoresponder service, okay? So let's go to Aweber or wherever you're at, uh, which, whichever service you use. Just try to follow on along and try to get the same, try, try to uh, um, use these steps to get the same information, okay? But this will for sure with I'll work with Aweber every single time. So um, the first thing that you want to do is you you know you want to create a, a uh, email list. Okay, that's self-explanatory. Just go to the list options here, and it'll take you right through it. So I'm currently under the TM Solutions email newsletter because um, I can use this drop-down menu to pick which one I want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Sign Up Forms, which I have uh, this icon category tab here. And then you're going to create a new sign-up form. So I've already done it, but let me show you how you go through it. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay, so let's just create one. It's really simple. And you're not going to mess with the stylings of it because the stylings from this plugin um, are going to take over. The plugin is going to create new stylings. Okay, we're just trying to get a, a form in there. Okay, so all you're actually going to do is go to step two. Okay, that's it. It doesn't matter what you pick, what you do. You don't do anything. Okay, and then you name your form, new test form. Okay, and then you can just do basic thank you page, um, or you can put your own custom page. Um, I think I just did the the smart video version just for now. You can create your own thank you page if you want uh, with like optimized press or whatever. doesn't really matter. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, it, the thank you page just tells you what to do next. Okay. Then already subscribe page. Same type of deal. Just pick your option. Uh, go to step three. Okay. Now you got to save it. I'll tell you to save it. Okay. Okay. Now you're here. The publishing category okay or a page okay so now what you want to do is you want to go or click on this I will install my form okay you don't need to pay somebody to do that that's stupid this is so easy okay and then go to the raw HTML version of um, code of this form and you're gonna copy and paste this onto a spreadsheet notice how I already have this up here whatever um, and what you're gonna do so you're going to copy and paste, and you're going to put it on a spreadsheet, okay? So this is what the, the code looks like, all these crazy numbers. And there are two parts of this code that you need. This is super easy. You just have to know exactly what to copy and paste, and I bolded it so you can see exactly what it is. Okay, so starting from the pop, or sorry, top, from where it says Aweber Web Form Generator 3.0.1, whatever it's going to say there for you. If the numbers change, whatever, you can figure it out or if the numbers are different. Um, okay, so right here, um, you can see all, this is all CSS, okay? Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this HTML here, okay? I'll just separate it. So right where it says style, okay? Form, method, post, class, all that crap. That's where, this, this is part of the, um, this is where you're gonna find the, the stuff you need, okay? So the form action action is this link right here. You're going to copy and paste that, aweber.com forward slash Chris forward slash adly.pl, okay? And then you're going to take um, this too from where it says input type, hidden name, meta web, all that, down to where it says meta tool tip value, okay? Right before the div right here and right after the div style appear, okay? 
So, you know, remember those or watch this video however many times you need uh, to, uh, to uh, find that. So then you're going to put that form action link here, right? And then you're going to put the hidden fields here, okay? And then what you're going to do is if, it, if it's not already filled out, you're just going to put email for email field, then name, and then name. Don't bother with first name or last name. When I tried to do that, it did not work. Okay, this is all it needs. This will work every single time, okay? I had a really hard time setting this up because I was trying to understand this differently and and I was trying to do something that I wasn't supposed to be doing. I, I shouldn't have been doing. Okay. So then I suggest ticking this box here, open confirmation page in uh, same window. Because you don't want to take them off this page. You don't want to create two pages. Okay. Just keep on keep them on this. And then here, you know, first name, last name, email address. I think that's already there. And I, and then I changed the text to submit, save. And you will end up with a custom form for your Genesis team. Um, and mine looks like this. It will take on a different flavor depending on the theme that you have, a different look. But it's a very simple to set up. Uh, that's all you need to do. Okay. Peace out, Tiger.